The egg is truly an amazing structure. It has various layers, each contributing differently to the overall makeup of the egg. The major component of the egg is the egg white, or called the albumin. The albumin is the major source of the egg's riboflavin and protein. Then there's the egg yolk, which is the major source of the egg for vitamins, minerals, and fat. When we start to talk about coagulation, it's the coagulation of the white and the yolk that we're discussing. Now you must know that coagulation is not only affected by heat, but is also caused by heat. Coagulation in very simple terms, meaning that you take something change, that changes from a liquid form into a more solid or thicker mass. Now eggs are made up of protein molecules, and each of these protein molecules is made up of many strands. When the egg is raw, these strands are stuck together, and the egg in its liquid form looks very transparent. As an egg is heated, the coagulation begins when the protein molecules in the egg white and the egg yolk start to thicken or coagulate and it becomes a more firmer uh, mass. And as heating continues then, the egg changes into a solid. Now, you can observe this any day whenever you decide to poach an egg or whether you decide to scramble an egg or maybe you decide to make any kind of pies that require an egg base or a custard type base. Um, my favorite are chocolate cream pies and it requires taking the egg yolks and mixing them with sugar and then as you cook them they become very thick and they start to coagulate. Um, there's lots of other things uh, that coagulate milk for one when it gets warm and so those are, that's a little bit about coagulation and more specifically about what is egg coagulation.